Alrighty then, I am back from my timeout with a draft of New Phyrexia, and it's my second draft. I just did one and I lost round two to She All Dread. And yeah, just thought I'm going to be drafting for these few days leading up to New Phyrexia, uh, leading up to Nagoya as I learn the format with New Phyrexia, and I may as well share it with you. And as good as Jaw Kadeen is once you resolve him, I'd rather take the Act of Aggression, which will obviously go in any deck. It's better in red, but I'll happily play it in a non-red deck. After that, I guess it's Forced Worship is decent. These two cards are decent, but yeah, it's not much of a choice. And then we have, let's see, ooh, Volt Charge. Um, Volt Charge and Grim Affliction are the standout cards. Easy to splash, removal's always good. Tumor Exarch, not entirely sure what it does. Oh, it's the Grave Digger guy. Grave Digger or Duress them. Um, but yeah, removal is removal, and Volt Charge goes with the card I just talked, and is probably slightly better than Grim Affliction. I mean, it's pretty close, because Grim Affliction is really good. But I think Volt Charge is slightly better, because it hits people. Although, obviously, Black is more likely to be useful in um, a Proliferate deck. Or the other way around, Proliferate is more likely to be useful in a Black deck. And here we have, let's see what we've got. Cathedral Membrane, what does this do? When Cathedral Membrane is put into a graveyard from the battlefield during combat, deals 6 damage to each creature it blocked this combat. Oh, so it just kind of blocks blocks two twos for free, and then anything else it just, it just bombs them to death. Um, yeah, that's decent. Um, not amazing, though. I think I'd rather take Force Worship, which you kind of have more control over what attacks. This basically stops their guys attacking, and this stops their guys attacking, except you choose which ones. Um, in fact, I don't know what this does. Margin. Mutation. No. Reef of Children is actually really good. Maybe even better than Force Worship. I think Red White's a better archetype than Black Red Infect, though. So yeah, I'll take Red. I'll take the uh, Force Worship. Despise. Always, <laughs> when I haven't drafted for a while, I always see constructed cards and go to take it and then remember actually it's not that good. I mean, Despise is fine, but it's not particularly amazing. Um, I don't know. Discard card. No, that's rubbish. Malaysian Soul Eater is quite good. I mean, it's not quite good. It's, it's decent. You can get some pretty easy wins off it if your opponent's kind of stalled and you've got a lot of removal. And I have two straight removal spells already, so yeah, I'll take the Emulating Soul Eater. I don't know how good this guy really is, but again, I'm learning the format at the moment, I have no idea. And what do we have here? Inquisitor Exarch kind of goes with the, the theme. Such a priest. Yeah, not great. I mean, I did I did actually quite like Bloodseeker, and he's almost a strict improvement. Well, he is a strict improvement. Um... Not that anything strictly better, although Aaron Forsyth and Mark Rosewater disagree with that. Um, there was a, a Twitter conversation at some point in the past where they basically said there are cards that are strictly better because their definition of strictly better just means better most of the time, which therefore isn't strictly better. And they, they were kind of condescending anyone who said their definition was odd. But I guess they're allowed to do that when they're the, the boss is. But yeah, I'm gonna, after all that discussion, I'm going to take the bear... And what do we have here? A couple of good cards. Well, wow. uh, Gremlin Mines is removal. It's good. Spine Thopter, two mana, two one flying. Can't really go wrong. Probably won't be blue, but again, two mana, two one flying. Probably slightly better than Sensor Splicer. Although I do like Sensor Splicer. I like all of the splicers. I like getting value out of the one one with stuff like Culling Dace. But having said that. I'm not going to take it, because my deck looks like it's going to be super aggressive, apart from that forced worship, but whatever. The Gremlin Mine or Spine Thopter. I think I'm going to go for the Spine Thopter. Yeah, Remember the Fallen, I guess, is worth a mention as well. It's decent. I've never actually played with it, but I guess on theory it's decent. And what do we have here? I might go for that Such a Priest this time. So I don't really want another Immolating Soul Eater. I don't know how good Volshock, what's his called, is, but by the looks of it, I'm, well, I guess I've got one double white card. But I want to try and keep either more white or more red. I don't want to fleet back and forth between the two. 
And pro red obviously isn't that relevant most of the time. So yeah, I'm actually going to try this such a priest. See how he works out. And this says creatures can't block, doesn't it? That doesn't do much. Um, there's not really anything I want here. Furnace scamp is unplayable. Blighted agent's good and infect. Oh, oh, I took it by accident. No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I guess that makes that a moot point. Um, not a whole lot here, I guess a 4 mana 4 2 isn't too bad. I kind of want that Phyrex's core for block testing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll take, the, I'll take the card I might play. And Shriek Raptor tables. Um, but I'm not in fact, so I'll take the kind of unblockable guy. Could end up being white, blue, splash red here. I mean, obviously this doesn't even need the splash. I have a uh, um, blue cards. I remember this not doing much. I'll take the furnace scamp because he's got a cool name. Mm, Ogamino is really good in <laughs> triple, triple Phyrexia, new Phyrexia, but Apostle's Blessing is always decent. Probably should have taken that other card. It was the can't block one. I mean, I wouldn't play it, but I also definitely won't play two furnace scamps. So it's worth having. Oh, another thing, I have. A new microphone and so let me know if it's better or worse than the old one i got sent it for my prizes for grand prix bockham in october 2010 and they just got around to sending it now and it's 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 a gaming headset with microphone but i'm it's quite an expensive one it's like 80 pounds or something but i'm not entirely sure if it's that good quality so let me know if this microphone is better than the eight pound amazon one i had before if not i will switch back And as we wait for the next pack, can't be bothered to edit this out. What I normally do is kind of go silent and then take it out in editing, but I can't be bothered to edit here because I'd rather get on to the next draft. And yeah, Burn the Impure. Spine of Ish Ishshar is cool, but like I said, this deck wants to be super aggressive. And I don't have anything that sacks at the moment, so... Fairly easy pick, Burn the Impure, one of the better removal spells. If we're lucky, we might even table an Ogre Resistor, but probably won't. Because it was the only other red card in the pack. And not the best pack. I'll just go through and hide some stuff. No matter how aggressive I am, I probably won't play these Furnace Scamps and all this defensive stance. And another Burn the Impure. Yeah, I'll take that. Blistic Shaman's nice. Quarter Paladin is not so nice. I really don't like that card. It's just kind of, they make a 1-1 one, one and you lose. It's like Immolating Soul Eater, but even worse, kind of. Immolating Soul Eater, at least you can try and trade it for their 5-5, five, five, but a Quarter Paladin, you just, <laughs> either they make a 1-1 one, one and you cry, or they make a 3-4 and you cry, and yeah, it's not really worth playing most of the time. Just like this blighted agent as well. I wish you could move cards on mode as well. You can't. I want to move this Thopter into my two drops, but I can't. But yeah, it looks like we're definitely white red at this point. I mean, the deck looks fine as well. We've got three very decent two drops in an aggressive deck. No, four in fact, with a two one flyer. What do we have in this pack? Yeah, not much. Peace Strider, I guess, is your is the pick. I mean, it's either Peace Strider or Viridian Claw. And Viridian Claw is not as impressive as um, as it could be in a red-white deck. It's better in Infect. And with all these really good removal spells, I've already got four really good removal spells. And so I'd rather just stock up on creatures while I can. Because creatures get better with removal, whereas removal does not get better remo with removal. And equipment does not get better with removal. So yeah, I want to focus on my creatures at the moment. Although, having said that, I have no artifact removal, and into the core is pretty bomby. So, I'll take that. Well, I don't know about bomby, in fact. But it's almost never bad. Although, having said that, <laughs> the new set doesn't have as many artifacts, does it? So that might have changed. I don't know, like I said, I, I haven't really drafted this new full block, so we'll find out how good into the core really is. Hopefully I'll draw it a lot of games and get to try it out. And yeah, Blister Six Shaman. In fact, Divine Offering, Blister Six Shaman. 
not entirely sure which is better here. No, I think I'll take the shaman. I just took it into the core, and like I said, I want creatures. And he happens to be removal as well. I think they're about as good as each other, but I want creatures. And... I really like Copper Carapass when you've got good two drops. Turn one Carapass, turn two um, Guy, turn three Equip Attack is more than a lot of decks can do with, actually. Now do I want a Partisan or a Banishment Decree? Neither really, but I think I'll take... Um, I'll take the Partisan. I actually do quite like Banishment Degree, but well, I've got stuff that has similar effects. Well, actually kills them, so that's probably better. Uh, I've got nothing that combos with Rusted Slasher, but there's also not much else in the pack. I don't really want a Crush, and a 4 mana 4 one might be useful. So I'll take it. I might get stuff like Mearsmith in the third pack that will make me happy I took Rusted Slasher. Just realised I've been crinkling some bubble paper, so sorry if you could hear that. I've got rid of it now. Uh, yeah, so I had my final exam this morning of third year, and hopefully I'll be graduating, assuming I didn't fail them all. So it could be my last exam ever, and hence I'm grinding the drafts between now and Nagoya in... Well, it's in a week's time, but I leave in four days' time. And we did table logo resistor. Is that the tabled one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's the tabled one. Cool. Turns out it worked out fine. And training drone. <laughs> I won't play training drone. And I think priest of north could actually be really annoying for me. So can I do anything with my bolt charge at the moment? I don't think I can. No, that's a shame. It's just a burn spell at the moment. I'll see if I can pick something up. What would it be good with? It would have been good with shrine, but I didn't get any. Because the white and the red ones are the good ones. So obviously I wouldn't get any after the first few picks. Although my in the first draft I did, before this one, I got a 7th pick porcelain legionnaire. Pretty sure that shouldn't ever go 7th pick. Because you play it in any deck. Literally. And it's a 3 mana. No, 2 mana, 3, 1 first strike. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why that was 7th. Um, I'm not going to play Gnathosaur, but I also don't really care if my opponent's played Tyne Shrike, because my deck's pretty well set up to beat it. So Gnathosaur I might have more trouble with, because you can't burn the Impure or Volt Charge it, or Blister Stick Shaman it. Um, oh, Foil Planes. Jeez, 14th pick Foil Planes. Do people not realise how much this card's worth? Must be swimming in it. Man, who passes 14th pick foil planes? It's ridiculous. I'll hide it for now though. What do I have? I have a Volition Rain, which I'm not going to take. I have a Shatter, which I might take. I have a Perilous Mirror, which I might take. And that's it. In which case, I think I'll take the Shatter, even though I still need creatures. Yeah, I think it's enough better than Perilous Mirror. I don't really have anything combos to Perilous Mirror other than Rusted Slasher. And I think Shatter is just the better card, so I'll take that. Ooh, Arctrail. That's better than Shatter. Thank you very much. Still need creatures, though. So yeah, we're, we're fine on the removal front. Although, having said that, I'll probably lose to a 4 4 now. But, in fact, no, I can act of aggression to 4 4, so it's fine. And Glenhawk Idol's pretty good. Better than Abuna Acolyte, considering I want stuff that attacks. So yeah, I'll take that. It's not great with this deck, because ideally I just want to make a creature and then tap out for removal every turn, but I guess it's better than nothing. Can't really complain after that Arc Trail. I haven't drafted an Arc Trail in a while. Still mastering the middle click with the laptop. There we go. Got it. Might get my mouse out actually. I get my mouse out between the uh, draft and the round one, so I've got more control. Just talking rubbish now. Like I said, I can't bother to go back and edit. 
You're getting this for free, people. You're not going to get quality. You pay peanuts, you get monkeys. <laughs> anyway. Should we see a... Oh, no. Ooh, Embersmith. Don't really have any artifacts, but he's better than everything else in the pack, so yeah, I'll take it. And then... Goldmere, maybe? Don't really need it though, no, I don't like Mere. But I also don't like Oriok Sunchaser. And I kind of need artifacts with my Embersmith, so yeah, I'll take it. Let's say the MTG UK chat was what I was going to switch to. Uh, nothing's happened. There's David Bevan saying, have good and get that first pick Viral Drake. I did not get a first pick Viral Drake, I got a first pick Act of Aggression. But thank you anyway. Hmm. What else can I fill the time with? Nothing. Save a Claw Golem. Yeah, he attacks. Is he better than Sun Special Kari? Yeah, I don't actually have any equipment, so I've got one. So yeah, Save a Claw Golem it is. I've got two drops as well, that's the only slot that's full. That could sound potentially dirty, never mind. Let's get this. No, let's, uh, which do I. Nah, I'll get the Riddle Smith out of there. I'm not too scared about Ichclaw with my double Burnian Pure. Well, I'm not too scared about Riddle Smith either. I've got. I mean, all the same cards kill them. In fact, more stuff kills Ichclaw, so yeah, I guess. For Ichclaw, I have. Ember Smith, Shatter, Double Burning Pure, Arc Trail, Blister Six Shaman, Volt Charge, and into the core. And for um, Ember Smith, I have all of those minus the artifact stuff. So I'm more scared of an Ember, uh, no, not Ember Smith, Riddle Smith. Very <laughs> I'm going to sat to my Faribol, not a whole lot, probably won't play it. Might play this Caustic Hound though, he's worth splashing I think, he's got a pretty decent body and when he dies your opponent gets nugged for four, can't even bring it out. Oh yeah, because you can't move cards, can you, I said that earlier. Oh, another Faribol. There we go, there he is. Caustic Hound, almost definitely splashing that. Because it costs 6, so you, by the time you get to 6 mana, you should have the black. And a 4-4 four, four body is just huge in this format. Bash, bash, bash. Lose 4. It's like Mortis Dogs, but a 4-4 four, four instead of a 4-2. And you lose the life as well. So, I mean, the downsides aren't that relevant, because you get a 4-4 four, four out of it. For an extra 2 mana. But, other than that, it's better than Mortis Dogs. Let's put the good cards in. What's this? Oh, that's a 4-2, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to have any creatures here. This could be an issue. I just hope my Immolating Soul Eater goes all the way. What are we at? We're at 22 cards, 11 creatures. If I put... Trespassing Soul Eater in, he attacks. I could put a Lockdown and Partisan in. Although if I was putting him in, I'd probably put Ringleader in because he's got more power, and more power is always good in this deck. Well, no way, I've got my Spine Thopter. He can get in there. Hmm. Let's see how many of these are. removals. Oh. Uh, your removals. Your removals, your removals, your removals, your removals. Put them there. Yeah, I don't actually have any three drops, so I kind of do want to play this Soul Eater, and then I could cut something from the four drops, maybe. Probably a Rusted Slasher, even though I do have Hembersmith. Like, getting value from Hembersmith off a of Rusted Slasher isn't great, because he costs 4, so you'd be spending 5 to ping something. I miss better with the low drops, so I keep those as they are. 
and 12 creatures. Yeah, that's probably enough. Who needs creatures anyway when you've got active aggression? So, yeah, I will submit. Uh, in fact, Cop Carapace could come out. But then again, no, like I said, two drop is, is the one slot I do have full. So, yeah, I'll add some lands. That awkward island that it always suggests because I've got Phyrexian mana. 10 7. I've got Inquisitor Exarch, but then mostly red cards. So, yeah, that seems fine. 10 7 will do. Submit. See you in round one.